Hello, hello, all you gorgeous gargoyles. Wait, what? No, uh, welcome back. Welcome back to my garage. Yep, uh, actually, it's my junkyard, but anyway, it's Ray's junkyard. It's not mine. Anyway, so today's video, two days of video, we are going to, I was going to start building on a new car, like a Jason or something, right? Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and finish fixing this car. So we're going to get off these quarter panels and the front end and all of that stuff. So let's get our toolbox. Let's get started. And uh, yeah, 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 it should be just oh crap. Okay, I think it's all loaded up. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this thing uh, finished. Yeah, indeed. We might even paint it. I'm not too sure yet about all the paint, but no, we're definitely not going to paint it. So uh, not today. <clears throat> anyway, let's get this bumper off. Now, there should be a bolt somewhere just right here, probably in the middle. Uh, look, I think I could see it. Oh, oh, it's on the outside. Oh, dude, I dig that. Okay. Uh, come on. There we go. Let's pull the bumper off. Yep, this thing is trash. We weren't able to pound it out. Uh, yeah, so hopefully in today's episode as well, uh, once this is fixed, we are, in fact, going to be taking it into town and getting our screwdriver and then uh just getting everything we need to prep for our next big job yeah which is probably going to be adjacent anyway let's get our cutter and start chopping um where is my cutter by the way it's probably in my toolbox it is but we need to swap out the old blade so let's do that now uh, there's still some left on this tiny one so we're going to grab that first and then we're going to start with chopping off the front end uh, i think I think. Uh, now, I have never chopped this thing up. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot, ain't I? Am I an idiot? Maybe. Possibly. Uh, yeah, I am. I forgot. The quarter panels, you don't chop off. They are literally bolted on. So, let's pull off the quarter panels first. And then we should get a little bit of a better view. Oops, easy. Okay, let's come around this side. One. And was it just the three right here? Yep, just the three. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, let's chunk that thing. Chuck it chunk it either way uh, let's pull off this side next uh, let's see so yeah today's gonna be like a prep video uh, for starting the next job which we're gonna pick the vehicle out uh, today as well that we're gonna be working on next uh, but we still have to go to town okay this last screw is right there oops I just saw it dang it dang it right there okay let's pull that one off very good Okay, now we should be able to chop the front end off now. If we can see, or does this bolt on as well? Oh, don't tell me. No, it shouldn't. So the this thing should bolt on. The grill. Oh, maybe we do have to unscrew this damn thing. Okay, hold on. Maybe it doesn't even cut. Let's go ahead and pull off. I think I've seen some bolts here. Okay, there are some here. One, two. Oh, I think that's just for the... Oh, no, maybe. Maybe it's for... Oh, I think it is for the front end. Oh, good. I thought it was on there with a screwdriver. Excellent. That should be it. Oh, dude, yes. Okay, fantastic. We don't even need to cut anything. Okay, so basically the whole front end. Uh, let's take a look at it. Let's turn our light on. And, yeah, it looks pretty straight. I don't think uh, there's going to be any issue with using this. Okay. Oh, yeah, and by the way, by the way... I think one of these brakes are bad uh, as well. So one of the calipers, let's take a look. Um, let's get in here. Hold on. So this caliper is definitely good. Yeah, that one is good. I think this other one might be bad. Oh, it is darker. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So these actually don't have the same destruction pattern as before. Oh, okay, cool. Well, we'll definitely look for that as well. So front left fender and a a grill. Okay, let's see what we could find here. Easy, easy. We didn't need a hood. Okay, okay. I was looking at the ground. Let's look at the cars first. We'll look at the ground uh, after, after. Yeah. Now this one looks like it's got good side fenders. What about this one? Is these different? Oh, look, this one has the trim on it. No front end. A little bit bent. About this one. Okay. This one has all the fenders and the front end. 
along with the bumper, it seems to be in good shape. So I think we're going to go ahead and snag these. Let's start with the fenders first. Yep. And then we'll grab that front end, get it on there. We're going to have to um, not dust it, but spray them off and grind them and all of that. How much are they? 38 bucks. Yes, please. It's going to do the same thing over here. Come on. Come on, baby. You can do it. I know you can do it. Come on. There we go. And. Okay. Perfecto. Uh, how much is this one going to be? Easy, pal. 56. I think that one's a little bit more pricey, but it's okay. And now we just need to pull this front end off. And the bumper should come right with it. How are the lights, by the way? Okay, this one doesn't have a light. Not a problem. Uh, the blinkers, everything looks good on them, though. So that's all that really matters. Okay, let's go and pull this off. One here. Oops, easy. And one here. There we go. Oh, wait, I thought the bumper was attached. It's not. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, 49 bucks. Excellent. And let's grab the old bump. Er. One over here and one over... Nope. Right. Right there. Okay, how much is it? 57. Okay, not too bad. I didn't add everything up because uh, I forget what they were, but it's close to 200 bucks. Okay, okay. So what are we going to do now? Well, let me just tell you. We're going to go put that stuff on. And I do want to find a... Um, eventually, we're going to be putting on the back of this truck a uh, tow bed. A tow bed? Yeah, tow bed. I know what you did last summer. <laughs> No, you don't. Uh, a tow bed so we could do tow jobs. Anyway, let's go grab our hose real quick and spray all this stuff off. We're just going to spray the pile. Yeah. It's fine. There we go. We might have to crouch down. That's okay, though. Uh, here we go. How you guys doing today? How you guys doing? I hope you're all doing excellent. Thank you for uh, checking out the channel. If you're new, thank you for uh, being here. And if you're old, thank you for staying. It's definitely greatly appreciated. I definitely love what I do. But anyway, that's good. Let's go ahead and put this back on. I think we got them all clean. Uh, at the very least, we can go ahead and get them reattached. And then we can do the sanding and all of that. Let's just start with the front end. Uh, get it all tightened up, right? One and a two and a three and a four. There we go uh no, there we go okay and then let's get these on um they look good oops easy yeah they're good okay fantastic we're definitely going to hit them with the hammer and uh bondo just to be sure but uh yeah let's grab the side here oops easy there we go and bada bing bada boom there we go where's the bumper right here let's go and get this baby on and we're pretty much almost set. We're going to do that break. I forgot about it. So we will be doing that break here in a second. Uh, we're going to have to get this truck jack back up though. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and do some little bit of sanding. We only have like one rust spot here and none over there. Uh, let's take a look at the truck. Oh, we actually have all the rust complete. That's fine. I think it's lying, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and grab this. Swap it out with our yellow pad real quick. There we go. And there we go. And then let's take a look. So I'm not sure what color to paint this. I was thinking a very Ford kind of color. Not a four word, but a Ford, duh. Like the car manufacturer. Anyway, there we go. I think that's all the rust, which is great. Um, this is already two different colors here. So we could really pick any color we want for this thing. I was thinking like Ford blue. Is that a thing? Uh, we actually have some blues over here. Um, it's kind of looking 40. Let's just go ahead and pour it. No, let's go ahead and just paint it with this real quick. And then uh, we can do a full paint job later, possibly. But I think this blue is going to look nice. I like white. Um, I used to have an old board. I don't remember what it was. I thought it was F-150, but... Uh, it might have been an F100. It was like a 70-something Ford white pickup truck. Had a cracked Edelbrock 
uh, carburetor. Anyway, there we go. There we go. Run it down this side now. Oops, easy. Don't go too fast. There we go. Let's see if we can get this. There we go. And then this side. Oop, easy, easy. And we'll change the uh, color officially as well. Uh, I think we'll probably just paint the whole thing. Uh, if, even if I run out here. Okay, easy, pal. Get down. Forget this mouse wheel. For whatever reasons, it's one of these gaming controllers uh, made by Logitech. And when you spin the mouse wheel, it just <clears throat> it just keeps on going. You know what I mean? There's no stop in it. All right, let's grab this other one. I think they're the same. Uh, 343 A96. Um, let's just make sure before we decide to start painting with this one. Was this a 343? Oh, it's not. This was the 034A. Wait, hold on. Okay, we're going to have to get the same damn paint, uh, especially if we want this to work. So 034A3A1. Let's go ahead and get this real quick. 0343 Studios A1 Sauce. Enter and buy. Okay, there we go. Let's go and finish this puppy up real quick here. How long we've been going? Okay, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good for time. Excellent. Uh, yeah, let's finish this side up. And then um, we'll be out of here and to go get... Actually, I think we're going to purchase the car first before we start driving around. Uh, just so you know what we're going to be working on in the next videos. There you go. Almost done. Let's grab the tailgate. It's really dirty, obviously. And oops, easy. Yeah, see how the wheel just keeps spinning? Anyway, there we go. Okay, how's this side look? It looks great. Let's get the hood finished here. And we're going to be almost all set. Um, let's see, what else do we need to get up north? Oh, yeah, we're going to pick up some jack stands while we're out as well. Uh, we're going to grab them from the old mod shop. That's the only mod that I have installed currently, if you didn't know. Now you know. There we go. Uh, this hood is always a little bit of a pain to get the middle, right? Oh, it's already empty. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. Let's grab another, uh, another can. Yeah, another spray can. There we go. Yeah, this looks pretty nice. Oh, yeah, we got right in the back. Dude, I'm so glad he freaking put that jump, uh, fixed the jump on this damn thing. Oh, man. Easy. Easy. Oh, yeah, these are a little bit tricky. All right. Yep, we're almost there. And then we just have to change the paint code in the uh, truck itself. Let's go ahead and change the paint code right now. If you don't know how to change the paint code, you just come up here. You type in your number. You hit enter. And then you got to click this white change color button. Boom. A uh, color condition is still zero, though. Hold on. That's because there's a lot that's not painted. Uh, let's just finish this up. Uh, should I cut it or should I leave it? That's the question I have. Uh, I think we'll just leave it. Yeah, we're just going to leave it. Long cut version. Just kidding. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Yeah, the inside of this is a little bit on the tricky side. You have to really kind of get it in there, right? Get it in there. And then let's do this here. There we go. Get these corners. Okay, we're almost set. Uh, anyway, we're going to get some mod. No, yeah, we're going to get some jack stands. Um, I think we are doing good on all of our Bondo and stuff. I might buy just a few more Bondo uh, just because we're going to be out and about. So, okay. Okay, at least you can jump uh, like that. Okay, anyway, I think one more can should do it. $60 paint job. Uh, that's pretty nice. You know, funny story. I have a 2002 Ford Focus, right? Um, I bought it, like, God, I don't even know how many years ago, back in 2012-ish, maybe 13. Uh, I have less than 100,000 miles on it right now, only about 95,000 miles on it. I bought it with less than 50. Uh, it's an O2, if I didn't mention, a ZX5, so it's the four-door hatchback. Anyway... Jump. Okay, a little bit further. Jump. There we go. 
Anyway, it's been um basically a work truck or a work car. Damn it, I, I crouched too far. Can we climb up here? Oh, damn it. Okay, there we go. At least we stood back up. Anyway, uh, it's been basically like a work truck for me. I don't use it for work, but uh, I took out the back seats. So it's kind of like a there's a bed in the back, right? Um, I have a blanket laid down and all that, but uh, <laughs> I don't mean like a sleeping bed, but like a truck bed. Anyway, anyway. The uh, sun, I've never really taken care of that damn car, so the sun has... I live in the desert, so the sun has really stripped the paint and cracked it and all that stuff, you know what I mean? So I was thinking about taking it to like Mako and paying like a three to five hundred dollar paint job for it. Well, I decided to just go ahead and paint it myself with... I was going to use spray paint, but I'm actually using Flex Seal. Uh, let's see, how does it look? Color condition is at a one. It's probably, yeah, I was going to say the inside of the doors, so let's go ahead and do that. But yeah, I started painting it with Flex Seal. Um, it costs about 10 to 15 bucks for a bottle of Flex Seal. Uh, but one bottle was able to cover uh, my whole roof and uh, part of like my hood. And I, got, I think I got like one fender because I was just kind of testing it out to see what the car would look like with Flex Seal. Um, and my, goal, my, my logic behind using it is it's like a rubber spray. Uh, so I figured since it's a rugged car, uh, it'll be, it'll be like, you know, pervious to like, uh, paint chips and shit from rocks and stuff. <laughs> uh, anyway, we need one more, one more. Let's take a look at it. Yeah. We just need one more can. I think, uh, I thought we would have been done on that one, but it's not. But in any way, uh, it turns out that I'm going to need to either sand it better uh, and really, really, really get it down to the metal, uh, or I'm going to have to add more coats of paint. Oh, I didn't even finish the freaking floor on this bed. Let's go ahead and finish this first. Hold on. No, nope. I got to not crouch. Okay, there we go. And now we want to crouch. Okay, there we go. Anyway, it's pretty hilarious. Flex seal. But, um, I haven't gotten... I haven't gotten any more. I've only bought in one can and like I said, a hood, a fender and some of the back and stuff. Um, but ideally for 10 bucks or so, I think if I got, definitely if I got 10 cans, I would definitely have enough to finish the whole car and probably have a thick enough coat. Um, so that's not too bad. About a hundred bucks, right? To do my whole car. Anyway, anyway, enough about that. I think we're almost done. No, not quite, not quite. Uh, the inside of this other door, I think we got all of that bed, however. Let's go ahead and take a look. Yeah, we still got this door. I'm not trying to get this 100% or anything, but I would like to actually get the paint to 5-star, but we can't. Uh, I'm not going to fret about it. Okay, that should be good. Let's take a look at it. Uh, we're pretty close. We're up to 4 stars. Um, I might worry about the rest at a different time. Let's go ahead and set this down we're gonna give it a quick spray and then we're gonna get out of here i think and i think we're, oh no no we got to do the brakes we still have to do that front brake yeah 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 and then of course um we're gonna grab a screwdriver when we're up there so we can do the back brakes and all of that uh let's see we're just gonna spray it off a little bit got some bad headliner inside here okay that's gonna be fine i'm not trying to make this thing in pristine condition or anything okay there we go Okay, let's do this front brake real quick and then let's get the heck out of here. Um, so we need a front right caliper. Let's go ahead and grab our wrench. Go grab that. And we're actually going to go inside and grab our next uh, project car as well. Now, I was thinking about actually five-starring this next car. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if I do or not. The only problem with five-starring it is I do need to get a tow bed for our car so we can actually take it down to the... Uh, service center and sell it because i'm not using oh damn it i don't have any chevelles in here bro oh wait is this one yeah this is one here's the jason it has a lot more or a lot less rust than i was hoping for oh god this thing's super trashed should we buy it uh, i think this would be a good project car but it's a lot more expensive i was hoping to get one a little bit cheaper so i think we're gonna wait and see if we could find one that's um, not quite so expensive. So yeah, let me just go ahead and spawn in until we find a good one. 
Before we do that, though, I forgot I got to find the damn brake caliper. So let's see if there's a good brake caliper in here first. Oh, I see. Yeah, see, it's like black, black. Oh, interesting. I thought they used to be like rusted on other cars. Oh, yeah, it's like black, black, black. Okay, there wasn't any there. Anyway, we're going to spawn back in two days later. <laughs> All right, so it's been about two days and uh, well, holy crap. Uh, I was looking for some one of these for a trailer bed and by golly my uh, wish came true so we're definitely going to pick up one of these uh, but I still haven't found the brake caliper yet I did double check and okay here's a good one I didn't bring my wrench though um, I did double check and no other cars brake calipers are compatible but yeah let me grab that wrench and then let's get over there okay so this was a good brake caliper let's go ahead and get it yanked off here one and a two let's see how the brake pads look it doesn't oops doesn't really matter because uh we have good brake pads out there and actually both of these are not good actually so anyway let's go ahead and buy it eight bucks bada bing bada boom was there any jason's oh so i kind of wanted one of these as well i was going to use this bed basically for hauling and then the uh to, oh this is an extended cab there's extended cabs as well oh man oh man okay anyway oh, i kind of want this yeah because we're gonna need this to actually uh yeah we're gonna buy that we're gonna buy that we're gonna need it to um all of our all of our junk up to the old uh to the old uh you know place oh look at this one let's take a look and see how much this jason costs Six thousand, still a little bit pricey. I think that other one we saw was seven. Uh, that's a El Camino. Okay, okay. Is that the only Jason in here? It is. I don't know if I want that one. Not really. Okay. Anyway, let's get this uh, truck cap first, and then we will grab the. Uh, toe bed as well uh, but let's pull this thing off is it just the two really oh my god it really is just the two okay uh, how much is this thing 131 bucks that's not bad let's go ahead and purchase it no you bastard there we go there was no window on that thing though was there a uh, back little window tailgate thing anyway let's go ahead and put that on real quick and then we're gonna buy the um three hundred dollar uh, trailer bed or t tow bed, whatever the hell it's called. Hard top. Okay, let's spray this off first uh, before we decide to throw it on. It's acting a little bit funny, but yeah, yeah. Then we're going to grind out the rust and all of that. Um, we might paint it right away. We probably will, actually. I think we're going to paint it while it's off, if I'm honest with you. Anyway, oh, this one has windows. Man, I remember when I was young. Um, probably around 10 ish um i went to I, I used to live in ohio and um i went to uh tennessee with one of my friends right and his parents had a badass freaking old pickup truck anyway uh we had a cap on it oops i forgot the top and uh they just set up a mattress back here in the back of the bed and uh because we drove to tennessee and um we just me and my friend, we just freaking stayed in the back of the bed on top of the air mattress and chilled back there the whole trip. Anyway, let's get the grinder out real quick. Damn it. Fond memories, though. Fond, fond memories. Uh, let's get that. Come on, you bastard. Okay, there we go. Where's the grinder? Grinder, where are you? Well, I'm not too sure. Dang it. Where is it at? Is it up here? Hello, grinder, grinder. Okay, hold on. Never mind, I'm an idiot. It's right here. I did put it back. Come here. Okay, got the grinder. Uh, let's go ahead and get all this rust off now. Uh, well, that was easy. I'm afraid. Okay, maybe not. It looks like some of it went away. I'm always weary sometimes when it disappears like that because I feel like it comes back sometimes. There we go. What about this side? Okay, it looks fantastico. Let's just go ahead and paint it. Uh, 0343. Yep. Oh, it's empty. Okay, one more can. There we go. There we go. And let's go ahead and get it. 
Uh huh. If you guys are interested, or if you watch a No Man's Sky, and if you see this video on whatever day it is today, August 2nd, uh, I might be going live today playing No Man's Sky. I thought about going live playing this, but I have a craving for No Man's Sky right now. Uh, so until that craving's finished. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, I think it would be fun to actually stream this. Um, so I was thinking about streaming this game as well at some point. Let me know down below if I would ever start to stream this game. Do you think I should stream this playthrough, my old playthrough, or just create a whole brand new playthrough uh, just for streaming? Um, and if I do stream, it's going to be on YouTube, just so you know. Um, I haven't done a lot of streaming yet. I don't have like Streamlabs installed or anything like that. Uh, very noob at all of that. But yeah, if I would stream my garage, would you guys like to see me stream this particular save file, my old particular save file, or I just create a brand new stream file? Uh, let me know down below. But today is probably going to be, uh, this weekend rather, it's probably going to be No Man's Sky mostly. I might jump around with different games. I don't know. I oddly enough had a craving today for some uh, Java Minecraft. I was going to do like modded Minecraft um, using the Twitch launcher. Anyway, anyway, I don't know if I'll play Minecraft or not. I haven't played it in years. Anyway, that looks fantastic. Let's put this back up here. Let's grab our old wrench and let's go ahead and stick this thing in here. Now, I am curious why the, uh, they chose only two bolts for this. I thought you'd have two in the front and then like one here and one there. Anyway, close. Yeah, is there, I have to see if there's a uh, window for this too, a little flapper doodle. Anyway, let's take a look at it. $14,000. Excellent. Okay, um, we got the brake. Did we put that brake on? Shit, I don't even know. We did not. Okay, here's the brake. Uh, where's the caliper at? Our old one. Oh, I never took it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never took it off. Okay, let's pull off this old caliper. Put on the new. Easy. Loosen. And then these ones. Yep, there we go. Bring it over. We're gonna have to get our pry tool so we can get the good, um, what you call? There we go. So we can put the good brake pad in there. Yeah, we only have one good brake pad. Okay, how long we've been going? 30 minutes. Okay, we're almost set. We're gonna, after this, we are going to go ahead and purchase um, the next car. So then you guys will know what we're gonna be working on in the next one for tomorrow. Uh, okay, I think we got it. And then, uh, then we're going to head to town and get all the stuff that we need. Uh, but anyway, let's get this on. There we go. Where's the wrench right here? Let's go and tighten this up real quick. Scroll down. Yeah, there we go. Uh, tighten. And bada bing. Ready, bada boom. Okay, cool beans. Uh, let's make sure all these other ones are tight real quick. They are. Okay, fantastic. Oops, easy. Get out. And then I need to check my fluids on my brakes. Uh, brake fluid looks great. Okay, excellent. Let's check our uh, oil real quick. Okay, it looks good. Okay, I think we're pretty much ready to blow. Yeah, and I will find that paint uh, eventually, but we're not going to worry about it today. Let's go ahead and pocket this. Um, I don't think I need this stuff with me. What do we got? A floor jack pry tool and our spark plug socket. Let's just go ahead and put some of this back in the tool chest. There we go. I don't think we're going to need our floor jack where we're going. Where we're going, there are no roads. I mean, uh, floor jacks. And now let's go find ourselves a Jason to purchase. Okay, we're going to sleep a couple times until we find the perfect one. Okay, well, I did not find a Jason yet, but I forgot that I was supposed to buy one of those three uh, tow beds here. What the hell is this thing called? Well, I don't know what it's called, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, let's just take this one off. Can we take it off? I hope so. I freaking hope so. Uh, yeah, right here. And hopefully that's it. Nope, third one. Okay, it looks like there's going to be three. 
So yeah, let's grab this real quick before I don't ever get one of these. Oh, there it goes. There she blows. Oh my God. Never mind. A thousand dollars. Bro, I seen these things for freaking 300 bones. Never mind. We're not getting this one. Uh, we'll be back. Dream <laughs> on. You dream off. Anyway, uh, we'll be right back. Okay. I think I finally found the perfect car. It's going to be this bastard. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, well, it's going to be, uh, this is going to be fun to fix. I think, um, it is 3,500 three-star rust. Uh, yeah. So this is going to be the one we're going to pick. I don't think we're going to use that same engine. Um, let's just look at this other one before we decide to purchase this one. Oh yeah. 7,500 too expensive for my blood. I mean, we got the money, but it's still way too expensive. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm so happy. He fixed the freaking uh, jumping on this game. Oh, that was really my biggest pet peeve and it's beautiful now you can just hold it and jump forever high anyway let's purchase this bad boy this is going to be our brand new project car so yeehaw 3500 bada bing bada boom let's go take a look at it um, now, yeah, I'm kind of planning I want to try to basically get this one up to 100% so this next series of videos is going to be fixing up the Jason probably close to 100% and we're going to attempt to do this entire job uh, by only buying junkyard parts so let's see if we lost any money nope it's basically the exact same we're going to change to the color on this thing so shoot down below what colors you want to see uh, the one with the most thumbs up or the most requested that's the color we will paint it and uh yeah uh, we won't be painting it probably for a few episodes uh, that'll come later um first things first though is we're gonna have to you know just kind of do a lot a lot of work i'm pretty excited to work on this thing <clears throat> we have to remove some body panels uh no floorboards that's cool uh a lot of this back end is gonna have to be replaced freaking awesome uh we should see if any panels are dead before we decide to take off so that's a good panel uh, that door is dead oh this back fender is dead this fender is okay that door is okay oh my god the roof is dead <laughs> the trunk is okay uh that little piece is okay okay so we definitely have our work cut out for us on this one this one's going to be fun i'm going to try to document the entire uh, adventure uh, financially as well uh, so I'm gonna be writing down and keeping screenshots of all of the uh, papers and how much we spend on parts and all of that all right all right anyway before we go uh, we are going to head up we are basically done with this episode uh, if you want to get out here I understand thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one when we start building this uh, but for the rest of you, we are going to take this bad boy for a drive into town, get our jack stands, get a screwdriver, and possibly just pick up a couple more uh, supplies. I mean, I think we're doing pretty good on our Bondo, but I feel like you can never have enough Bondo because sometimes cars will take almost five or more of those containers. Anyway, let's go ahead and load up all of our junk, and then we're going to take this all to the pawn shop. And then we are going to get the stuff that we need. So sit back, relax, enjoy. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a longer one at the ass end of the video. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, let's do this thing. See how much money we get from this as well. Uh, be curious. I don't think it's going to be too much. Uh, looking at it, I'm going to say about 300 bones. $300 reduce. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, but we should be able to stack this all in here really nicely. Dude, I'm so excited. I'm just, oh man, this game, bro. I tell you what, fucking love it. It's, it's, it's really good. It, it really is good. Oh, you know, I wanted to ask you guys, um, have any of you played that game Wrench? Uh, it came out, I think like 2018 or something. That's, that was the first time I ever seen it. And, uh, back then it was kind of janky and, you know, I know they were really focusing on like VR support and stuff for that game. Um, but have any of you played Wrench recently, and how is it? Uh, I was kind of looking at it the other day, and it sounds like it's a pretty cool car mechanic game. Um, it 
kind of takes notes from my summer car i think there's actual like sockets and stuff with like sizes like 10 millimeters that you have to use and change uh, but i think you're like a mechanic basically for like a racing company or something like that and you're fixing up uh race cars but yeah let me know have any of you played that game is it any good should i check it out uh, maybe anyway let's go ahead and fill this up the rest of the way i don't know if we're going to get all this stuff in here um you know so we have this big bucket seat right oh yeah and we need to put all of our uh, collectibles in here as well okay hold on let's grab a wrench real quick we're going to pull out this bucket seat and i think we're going to swap it uh, just so i have a little extra room in here uh in the passenger side because it's not like i'm carrying passengers with me right no I'm not. okay get down here and one and two shoot okay there we go let's pull this seat out uh, it's a good seat so we're going to keep it uh for good parts but let's go find a different seat to put into this thing right here yeah 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 carpet looks good ceiling looks horrible we need a screwdriver for that but yeah let's go look and see if we can get a different seat yeah, I'm just going to have a bucket seat rather than a bench seat. I think I called that a bucket seat back there. My bad. I didn't mean to. It's a bench seat. Anyway, uh, this is a front right sports. We don't want that. I was thinking of taking a luxury seat uh, from a wolf. But we'll see. We'll see. Right, let's check here. Now, if everything is still the same as it used to be, any seat should work. Oh, look, this one has back seats. Oh, dude, we're definitely going to have more than one truck, <laughs> by the way, at some point. Oh, that's a nice blue seat. Oh, I like that interior. Okay, well, I guess we're not finding a good seat. Um, I mean, we could take one of these crappy seats. I think for the truck, we're just going to take uh, this longer kind of seat with this bigger rest here let's pull this thing out let's purchase it and let's put it into the truck there we go how much is it compared to that sports seat on oh, no, that that other one was a front right anyway so i don't think it worked it's way more so let's purchase this for 35 bucks there we go and let's go install it real quick and then we'll finish uh Loading up all of our junk. Yeah, this should fit. Let's see. It does. Excellent. All right. Tighten, please. Yeah, I'm glad all the seats are uh, intercompatible. Even if it doesn't line up right, I don't care. Um, we can just pretend it has really long bolts on this front side. Anyway. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's bag our wrench. And let's continue loading this puppy up. Uh, we could probably just set this in here. I mean, yeah, we could. Oh no, my carpet fell out. Bro. <laughs> Excuse me. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Excuse me. It won't even go back in. Look. What the hell, man? All right, well, whatever. I'm not too sure what's up with that. Maybe it's because the uh, that other seat. Oh, well, we don't need carpet. Where we're going, carpet isn't needed. Anyway, let's finish loading this up. Oh, God. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to grab all this. I might need to get a different truck or a different back uh, to haul stuff, like one of those big-ass box trucks. So we might end up doing that eventually. Uh, but for now, we're just going to do this. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Let's see. Oh, man. Let's flip this around. Oh, God. I don't know how this is going to handle. Looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. Okay. Uh, some of the smaller stuff I think we can just bring up here to the front. Yeah, yeah. That looks great. It looks great. I think it's going to be just, just fine. All right, let's see. Almost there. Almost there. How long we've been going? 40 minutes. Okay, yeah, this is going to be probably close to the hour mark by the time we get everything done. Um, 
and sold and purchased. All we need is a screwdriver and what else do we need, by the way? Crap, I already forget. No, screwdriver. Oh, jack stands. Yeah, the jack stands are going to be probably the most important thing. Okay, tie rod almost done. And there she blows. Okay, excellent. Um, let's get this last fender in. I think we'll just leave the rest of this here. Yeah, let's just leave the rest of this. This is fine. I think we're full enough. Um, I'm not sure exactly if it's all going to stay in during the drive or not. So, and then we just need to grab those collectibles because I do want to turn those in. Uh, if you don't know, there's a chance that your collectibles that you find, like all this stuff over here with the toilets and speakers and all that, there's a good chance that uh, if it's left outside, they will get stolen or despawn. You know what I mean? Anyway, there we go. So once we get the new garage up top there, uh, after that, I'll start keeping all of my collectibles. And uh, we're going to turn that little office into our collectible room. Anyway, let's see if we can actually take these toilets. And then uh, we're going to collect the rest of the collectibles on the sides. Oh, God. Before we head out, let's go ahead and shut the door. Oh, it didn't shut. Oh, no. Let's just push this stuff in just a little bit. Okay. There we go. You can hear it slam. Uh, let's look over here real quick. Yeah, see, there's a bunch of stuff over here. Let's gra gather this stuff up right away. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be going. We'll be going. Yeah, there's still what two speakers and a chair over here this is exactly what i saw over here a couple of days ago or yesterday's video i think anyway unfortunately you cannot pick these up we should probably just drive the truck over here to get these things so i think we will for time's sake uh, all we got to do now is load up that other toilet pick up this stuff and uh maybe we won't drive back there i feel like something's gonna break anyway oh and the door didn't shut look shut you fool Okay, okay, fair enough. Maybe it's the toilet. Might be. There we go. Let's see if that worked. Anyway, let's grab this last toy. Let. And. Should we grab that other stuff? Oh, we probably should, right? I mean, it's free money. Uh, let's see if we can get this to stay without blowing up. Uh, it's kind of interlocking. That's fine. Yeah, let's grab this other stuff real quick. It's fine. Uh, I'll just cut it. Uh, right there's one speaker and then all we have left to grab is this chair all right cool i got the chair and it looks like somebody soiled their self on this thing look at that spot it's pretty disgusting um are we going to be able to fit this of course we are see yep see okay i think we're ready uh let's get the heck out of here the f out of h right the fuck out of here anyway I think that's it. Uh, yeah, let's just go. Oh my God. Uh, let's get a screenshot. Screenshot. All right. And I think we're ready. I think we are ready. Let's go ahead and get in. Oh, look, that stuff ain't letting me get in. Oh, no, it is. Okay, never mind. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and shut the door. Sit down. Start the truck. There we go. There we go, there we go. We just got to release the brake. Reverse. Draw. Okay, oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, there's reverse. Let's go ahead and get backed up here. There we go, and we're off. And into drive. Okay, there we go. And I am uh, using controller uh, once again, in case you were wondering. Sensitivity is kind of high. Um, I think somebody said using the mouse sensitivity might change the sensitivity on the controller. Uh, so once we get up to the road, I'm going to attempt that theory. Okay. This thing's hauling up this hill pretty great uh, for being a V6. Okay, let's just go ahead and stop real quick. There we go. I'm going to jump out and I'm going to check the settings. Okay, so keyboard steering is all the way down. 
Uh, I don't know if there's a way to actually lower the sensitivity on the controller or not. So let me know if you've ever found a way. Anyway, let's get out of here. Okay, we're ready. So to the pawn shop, sell all this stuff. See how much money we actually make from it. Uh, we have $17,000 so far to spend on the Jason to get it up to a five star. Uh, we still have to buy a trailer bed for this truck and not one that costs $1,000 either. We're gonna get one that's 300 bucks. So it looks like you have to wait for a uh, trailer bed to kind of spawn not connected to a truck. So anyway, hopefully we're not losing anything by the way. Can we swap out? Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and swap out to this view. Okay, yeah, this actually works pretty good with the controller. Let's see how the brakes work by the way. Okay, they work pretty decent, pretty decent. Um, I don't like, oh God, no, no, hold on, hold on. I think we're gonna do the number three key. There we go. Okay, cool beans, cool beans. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Oh, you doing good? Oh, good, good, okay. Easy, pal. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, apparently three key is not the right one to use with a controller. We'll just keep it right here. So I'm gonna predict probably about 300 bucks for all these parts. I don't, I'm not expecting to get a lot. Easy, slow it down. Oh, look, our back tail light is out by the way. So we do need a, a rear tail light. I don't know if my blinkers are actually working. And there's our future garage. Awesome, excited to buy that. Um, so I, I was thinking of adding a new rule uh, to the game. So once we get that trailer um, uh, for the truck here. So you know, normally uh, when you get a five-star car, you sell it down at the service center, right? So I was thinking um, when I do other uh, flips where the car is not five stars, instead of just selling them right where I'm at, I was thinking about actually bringing them up to the used car lot up there and act like I'm selling them to that used car lot. Uh, so I might start doing that. Anyway, let's turn this off. Let's get this thing unloaded and let's see how much money we make. Actually, we need to sleep until tomorrow morning. There we go. And let's see. So we're sitting at 17,632. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, just turn all this in and see what we make. Flatari. Flatari, I think. Yes, yeah, so yeah, it was. I made him go way back. It was Flatari. How you doing, Scape? I haven't actually watched you, buddy, in um a few months, bro. I haven't seen any of your videos. Did you get a tan? Anyway, five bucks. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get very much out of this. All these parts. Oh, that was forty-two bucks. Uh, let's see how much we get for the chair. These will probably run a little bit more. Oh, yeah, dude. Okay, so we're definitely going to hit that number, especially with these collectibles. Oh, geez, yeah, 120. I guess I should have seen how much it was minus the collectibles. Oh, well, it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and turn these toilets in. Porcelain King, 35 bucks. Have you guys ever um, done any toilet jobs in real life? I've done about three or four. Okay, easy. Okay, let's see if we can pocket a lot of this little stuff. We can. Okay, there we go. I couldn't grab that stuff for some reason. Anyway, oh, 40 bucks for the speakers. 35, not too bad. Uh, we need to make sure we don't sell our tools. Okay, the rest of this can be sold. Oh damn, something in there was actually worth quite a bit. I don't know what it was. Anyway, uh, let's get the rest of this stuff. I should have put my brake on. 14 bucks for the grill. Oh, I did have it on. Never mind. So screwdriver and jack stands. Okay, this is definitely gonna pay for all of that. Five bucks. Uh, we still have a speaker in here, by the way. Let's get it. 40 bucks for this. Oh, 50 bucks actually. Uh, I think there's still one more speaker. Yeah. Oops. And I think there's a vase underneath the seat as well. So 
40 bucks for that. Excellent. How much for the vase? I think this thing was like 140 bucks. Must be like ancient Chinese or something. Uh, there we go. Oh, wow. $92 for that freaking busted ass, uh, rusted out wolf rear end. Can you believe that? Oh, that's pretty good, dude. We definitely went over my 300 mark. I think we're probably, I don't know. I'll show you at the end. Uh, I'll have to in post figure out how much we made from this, but I think we only had like 1600 and something, right? Let's see. And there we go. Gas tank, $4. Not everything's uh, worth a lot, but nope. $1. What else we got in here? Oh, the carpet. What are we going to get for that? Jack, $1. It's enough for, uh, well, not much, man. You can't buy crap with a dollar anymore, can you? I was going to say for a candy bar, but I don't even know if those cost a dollar anymore. Oh, yeah, that seat. I thought that was part of my truck. Anyway, 12 bucks for that seat. What else do we got in here? Oh, we still have another vase or vase. 120 bucks. I call it a vase, but if I'm trying to be posh, it's a vase. <laughs> Anyway, what is that? Nine bucks. One more item. How much is it worth? Uh, I'm going to predict one dollar. Three dollars. Okay, well, I think that's everything. Let's just double check real quick. Uh, it is not. It is not. Uh, let's see if we can pocket the rest of this. There we go. Head gasket. Yep. I think we got it all except for this trim. Right? Yeah, yeah. This should be the rest of it. Let's not forget our tools. And then there we go. So how much did we make? We were at whatever we were before. I'll show you now. 16,000 something. So 1874. So we, I think uh, we've made just over $2,000 on all that stuff. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, what is this? Must have always been there. Okay, let's shut the tailgate and let's head to the mod shop and grab our jack stands real quick and then we have to head over to the um can i sell that by the way uh we're gonna head over to the store no i don't think i can we're gonna try to sell this i don't think i can though i don't think he takes wooden chests yeah he does but it, he only gives me zero dollars so damn it get over here okay fair enough how long we've we been going 55 minutes let's see if we can get to that mod shop and get to the damn uh other store and get our uh whatever the hell is called screwdriver all right let's go and we're off we are off for the races easy pal easy okay i think before we go to the mod shop we're gonna grab our screwdriver first um, I think they sell screwdrivers here. So let's just pull in. How's our fuel, by the way? Okay, we're doing good. We're at a full tank. Now let's go ahead and shut her down. Just hit that brake. I don't think it's going to roll away, but... And you never know. I Sometimes I have night... Well, I'll, I'll go into a grocery store and I, I won't see my car. Uh, and I'll think that I forgot to put it the brake on. And uh, forgot to put it in first gear because it's a standard, right? Okay, there we go. There's our screwdriver. Um, I don't know if we need to take anything else. Can you buy batteries in the catalog? I think you can. Uh, we don't actually have any brake fluid down there, by the way. Yeah, let's grab a couple more of those. And that should be good. That should be good. Should I get a trash bag? You know, let's grab a trash bag because I think... If you everything you collect in a trash bag when you take it to uh steve down there i'm pretty sure you get the same amount of money okay fantastic now we just got to go to the mod shop and grab our jack stands there we go and we're off hope nobody's coming i can't look i don't know how to keep buying my uh, right thumbstick to look it around. I'll have to uh, see if I can do that. But anyway, let's go. Let's go. Mod shop is going to be to the left here and down the hill. Oh, I didn't bring my move tool. Um, we could have seen if we could have grabbed one of these lifts down here. 
car lifts, these, you know, car elevators as they were. Oh, my speedo doesn't work. You guys noticed that, by the way? So we'll have to get a new speedo. Uh, good to know. All right, we're just going to make a left up here. Yep, right here. There we go. And I don't think I'm forgetting anything else. I think it was just a screwdriver, a couple supplies, and... Oops, easy. Easy. Uh, the jack stands. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that. Uh, I'll show you guys if you haven't. But uh, yeah, the lifts are behind that house that we just passed. Anyway, let's get pulled in. There we go. Shut her down. Just gonna leave it in uh, drive. It's fine. It's fine. I bought items spawn here. Yeah. So this is the mod shop. If you didn't know, uh, I only have these two jacks, or I only have the jack stands modded in. Um, I like these red ones a little bit better. Uh, they definitely look more heavy duty and sturdier than these. I mean, in game it doesn't matter, but we do want to buy all four. So that's pretty hefty. Uh, it's expensive as all can be. Uh, but that's okay. How much did we spend on that? I think these were what? How much were they? 400 or 500? Let me just look real quick. 400 bucks. Yeah. So 1600 bucks just on jack stands. Good Lord, man. I'm glad they don't cost that much in real life. Now they're still kind of expensive, but not too shabby. Okay, here we go. And this should be the last one. Um, I didn't bring my move tool. Um, I think... Let's just go out here real quick. We're pretty much at an hour now, uh, maybe a little bit less with some cutting that's been done, but let's get this thing started real quick. We're going to release that brake, throw it into reverse. There we go. Oop, oh, Izzy. Okay, Izzy, we got it. Let's go and do a 180 turnaround. Here we go. Throw it into drive. And let's go behind these houses here. Yeah, so if you don't know, uh, back here, is, there are two lifts. Yeah, see that? So, you need a move tool to actually move these, though. But they do work, uh, no matter where you have them. And look, we found another speaker. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to set up a shop down here. Um, either at one of these houses, pretend that we own it, or build a brand new one uh, somewhere over here. But anyway, I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, end it down here at this location. We'll continue off in the next one, but that'll be it for this one, you guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Later on, everybody. Later, later on.